Patreon is like anything, you can't really expect people to join and then stay for the rest of their life, but I have found that only a couple of people will leave. Once people are in Patreon, it's much easier to keep them there rather than getting new Patreons. Patreon does give you analytics into how many people have left every single month and you do get a notification whenever anybody downgrades or leaves Patreon, which can be a bit sad when you do get that notification, but I think it's important to look at it at a more overall level and not take it personally when people leave. The way I see it, I would much prefer somebody to join for a couple of months and then leave rather than not join at all. When people do leave Patreon, they do get an exit survey and there's a couple of just generic reasons why people would leave on there. The majority that I've had have just been financial reasons, which is fair enough. There is a space there if somebody does want to give you any feedback, if they're leaving for any specific reason. Some of the reasons are that the creator wasn't as active as I expected and things like that, but they can leave you a comment if there's anything you've done. I've not had that yet. Very thankful for that. Most of mine have been financial reasons. I think the best way to keep people in your Patreon is to make them feel part of a community. Get them to talk to each other and to feel as though they're part of the process with you. If you share things about how it's going on a wider level for you, people are rooting for you and they want you to succeed. So for me, I have just left my day job. I'm now a full-time blogger and a YouTuber and I talk to my Patreons about this probably for the last six months, sharing my progress of this is what I want to do. I don't know how to do this. This is my plan. And when I finally did it, they really, they knew before everybody else and they liked being in that. I understand why everybody likes to get gossip before everybody else. That's pretty much what it is. When you do make content within Patreon, make sure that you talk to your Patreons. Don't just talk about them or talk kind of more generally about yourself. Talk to your Patreons. I've got to know some of my Patreons really well. So when I see them come in on a live stream, I will say, oh, hey, John it's John who does this or John who's booked this cruise and people really like that you've taken the time to know them because they feel so much close to you. They know you really well through watching your YouTube videos but they don't necessarily expect you to know them back. The more that you can involve your Patreons in your content, the better. If you want to do a survey and you want to survey your Patreons and put that in a blog post or in a YouTube video and just say thanks to my Patreons blah 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 who helped me with this, they love that. I have asked my Patreons before why they stay in Patreon and most of them just say that it is to support me and they would only leave if I for some reason changed or I completely stopped posting on Patreon. Some of the people have already paid for a year up front and I think that shows how much faith they have in Patreon and in me that they're willing to pay for a year up front because I could just disappear. Not that I'm going to do that, I'm fully intending on taking everybody on this journey with me but I think that does show the kind of trust and the power of Patreon. I also like to get my Patreons involved in the running of my Patreon. So I will ask my Patreons what kind of new perks they would like. If I'm thinking about changing something, I will talk about it with my Patreons because they like to be involved in that. Patreon is the place where they hang out and I want to give my Patreons what they want. So I will talk about, oh, okay, guys, I'm planning on adding this new thing. What do you think? And if enough people say yes, then I will do it. And they feel like they're involved in that decision. They've helped me with it. Some people do just want to be helpful. So the more you can involve people in the process of Patreon, the more likely they are to stay. It is inevitable that some of your Patreons will leave at some point, but as long as you have more Patreons coming in and less leaving, and they're not leaving for any kind of bad reason, I don't think that's necessarily an awful thing. You can't expect people to stay forever. The better you can make your Patreon, the more involved and in a community you can make your Patreons feel, the more likely that they are to stay. So definitely do those live streams, do those Zoom calls, ask your audience things so that they're involved in the behind the scenes process, show them things that you wouldn't show everybody else on the wider internet, and they're not going to want to lose access to that or access to you. As I mentioned in the start of this course, Patreon is a brilliant way to make some extra money, but also the best way to get to know your community on a more one-on-one -on -one level. Make Patreon a nice place to be, mention it casually on the rest of the internet, and you will just do brilliantly. I have faith in you, go out there, make your Patreon, it's free to do, you've got nothing to lose, and you may be surprised. I was very, very pleasantly surprised when I started mine, so 
good luck on your journey. That is the end of this course. You have everything you need to give Patreon a shot. It's completely free to use and you may be very pleasantly surprised, not just by the money you get, but by the friends that you make. I would strongly, strongly recommend that if you haven't got that vibe, go right now and start your Patreon. Good luck from me and yeah, have fun.